Alrighty then, let's go ahead and start scraping these links by the boatload. If you remember from the previous video, we first want to click on blog engine blogs. And now let's go ahead and enter in a few keywords. And earlier we used golf clubs and golf bags. And for this video, I'm only going to keep my results to 10. Let's double check that we're using proxies. And let's go ahead and click start harvesting. Now the scrape box is complete. Let's go ahead and click on OK. And let's close the keyword statistics window. And let's remove duplicate URLs. Let's go ahead and click yes. Let's click OK again. Let's choose add-ons, link extractor. Let's select the external radio button. Let's go ahead and crank up our connections. Let's choose import URLs from Scrapebox. Let's go ahead and start it up. Scrapebox is going to go out to each of these websites and extract all of the links off of those pages that we harvested. And it even removes the duplicates in the process. So Scrapebox is sweet, as we all know. But anyway, from here, what we want to do is we want to export URLs to file list. And let's navigate and save it, of course. And let's exit out of that. Now, here's a problem that I have a solution to, of course. If you were to run the backlink checker at this point against all of those URLs that you just extracted, you're going to be coming up with a lot of uh, Yahoo or Google or FeedBurner and Delicious, etc. Wikipedia. You're going to come up with a lot of links that got kind of mixed up into your pile. Uh, literally, Yahoo has like 900 million link backlinks to it. And we don't want those, obviously. We don't want to waste any bandwidth and we don't want to waste any time, most importantly, and also uh, potentially messing with our proxies or messing up our proxies running against something that obviously Scrapebox can't post to. So what we want to do here is we want to load that list back into Scrapebox, the one that we just extracted all of the backlinks from. And then I have put together a scratch master list of URLs that I simply do not want included in the backlink checker, which is the next step. But let's scrub this list first. So let's go ahead and click on import, import and replace current lists. And let's go ahead and import those blog engine links back into Scrapebox. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to scrub out any URLs that we do not want. And we do that by clicking on import, select the URL list to compare on domain level. And this uh, this file that I titled my blacklist file to scrub against, I'll put in the resources section. And it's just a list of some URLs that I've com uh, combined over time. And let's go ahead and scrub our blog engine links against this blacklist file. Our personal blacklist file has nothing to do with the blacklist that's up in the toolbar. And you see that scrape boxes let us know that it has already removed this amount of URLs from the list. Let's go ahead and click on OK. Now we want to go ahead and click on add ons. Backlink checker. Load URL from scrape box harvester. Let's crank up our connections a little bit. Let's not get too crazy with it. And let's go ahead and click start. Okay, now that that's done, let's go ahead and choose download all. It's going to bring up the save dialog box. Let's just go ahead and name that file. And save that file. And I'm going to pause the video for one second. All right, now Scrapebox has returned all of these backlinks. Now, before you get too excited, these aren't all backlinks that we can post to, that Scrapebox can post to. And also, there are some duplicates 
in there. So there are a few more steps that we need to take.